It seems so many companies are now leaving the Bay Area. The Bay Area is no longer like the cool kid in town. In fact, the Bay Area is kind of like the place where a lot of companies used to have good memories and now a lot of the memories are getting pretty bad. It's getting kind of old, right? You got a huge homeless problem. There is a fentanyl epidemic. And not to mention, it's still pretty unaffordable. The office spaces are still pretty expensive because nobody wants to lower the rent. And now everyone is leaving the Bay Area, including some notable guys like Meta, who owns Facebook and several other applications. Meta is now downsizing its office footprint, subleasing its Fremont office space. Now, if you scroll down and look at this office space, it's pretty enormous, right? We're looking at 52,000 square footage of space. And this is actually a pretty decent part in Fremont. If you go to Google Maps and you type in this address, this is where Meta used to be. And now they pretty much yeet it out. They don't wanna stay here anymore. They feel like this is probably one of the worst places to be. And this is kind of like a massive corporate office town. Zoom all the way out, you do see that it's in a pretty decent spot in Fremont. You know, you're kind of close to the water, you're close to interstates, and you're also close to like some farmer's market. And overall, this is where a lot of the tech workers used to be. I mean, 52,000 square footage of space isn't small at all, but even Meta is kind of sick and tired of the Bay Area. They don't want this space anymore, but unfortunately, they still have it and they need to get rid of it. Now, if you guys just think it's in Fremont, it's also 181 Fremont, which is a premium office space in San Francisco. This is 435,000 square footage of space, and not a single company wants this just yet. I mean, we're talking about almost half a million square feet, so the only person that can actually get an office this size is another big corporation. But there is no other big corporation that's coming to San Francisco. It's all big corporations leaving San Francisco. And if you check out this unit here, 181 Fremont is a massive space. This is not small at all. And I could say these are actually some of the most expensive condos in San Francisco. It's basically like Millennium Tower prices without the leaning and tilting. So if you look at Fremont, it's pretty massive. It's a very nice building. Of all the skyscrapers, this is the best looking one in my opinion. The condos here, like one bedroom, sold for like two million bucks and they're still hyper expensive. It's like if you made it in the Bay Area, you buy a condo here. So if you look at this, half of it is office space, which is now completely vacant. I mean, when you vacate half a million square footage of space, that's a lot of space, guys. This is not a small amount of space. We're talking about like thousands of employees are no longer working here anymore. And Meta is just literally offloading spaces after spaces after spaces. And this is causing a huge ripple effect. This is actually causing what some call a massive real estate crash in San Francisco. We use that word crash so many times, but San Francisco is a real crash. When you have whole entire office buildings in very good downtown areas selling for 50% discount, that's not great at all, guys. That's not great. This building, look at how big this is. Sold for 60 million bucks. 201 Spear Street is a great example I love using every single day. Because look at this, it's right next to the water, right? It's right next to the park. It's right next to some of the biggest companies in the world. It's next to the metro station. It's next to the Salesforce building. What's there to not like about this building? It looks good, it's fully bricked out. You're also right next to the water and you're next to one of the most expensive condo buildings in San Francisco, which then you sell for 50% off. I'm pretty sure the guys who bought these condos are probably shaking their boots. Because 50% off is a humongous number. Two million becomes $1 million. So the guys here who bought one bedrooms for two million bucks are honestly scratching their heads whether or not they made the right decision or not. And it's also like a ripple effect, right? If this building sells for 50% off, what about this building? What about this building? What about this building? These are all really frightening numbers because when your neighbor sells for such a low price, other buildings have their valuations decrease as well. And if you look around, you got WeWork just also adding into the chaos WeWork is also foreclosing on several buildings and leases in San Francisco. And it's ramping up, guys. It's ramping up every single day. The vacancy rates for January and February are probably 38%. And by the end of the year, we could be seeing close to half of all office space in San Francisco being completely empty. And it's not just the big companies downgrading their office space, but also the startups, right? Usually startups don't make it on the news, but startups take up a lot of space when you have tens of thousands of them. But a lot of these guys are just leaving for greener pastures. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Comment below. Before we leave, check out the private Discord server, guys. Patreon link below. Seven-day free trial. We're actually making a lot of money. We're trading every day. We, ha we even have videos to help you guys. And plus, the gains are pretty good. Especially recently, we made like over 100% gain on the UNH calls. Check us out.